The kingdom of God is a kingdom of peace. And St. Paul repeatedly in his letters reminds us that peace, unity, and concord are all defining traits of God's people. They are defining traits of the church. In Ephesians chapter 2, Paul writes, Christ is our peace. He who made both Jews and Gentiles one and tore down the wall of separation so that he might create in himself one new humanity instead of two, making peace. He reconciled both groups to God in one body through the cross. And so you are no longer strangers and foreigners. Instead, you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of God's household. But St. Paul also reminds us that we ourselves are agents of this peace. This is not just something we wait to drop down on us from heaven. How we choose to approach life makes all the difference. In Colossians, he says, let the peace of God rule in your hearts and be thankful. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. That means we have a choice there, right? Let it rule in your hearts. And how? Be thankful. There is this very, very direct connection between gratitude and peace. 